In today's video, we're going to show you different ways to work with links, starting with hyperlinks and object linking. Creating a hyperlink in Xcalid Draw is easy. Just select the object where you want to create the hyperlink, click the link action in the preferences panel on the left, and paste your URL. The same action works for object linking. Press Ctrl or Command plus K, choose Link to Object in the Hyperlink field. Then click the object you want to link to and confirm. The created link will instantly take you there. If you ever need to remove a link, just select the object and hit Delete. And if you need to guide someone to a specific part of the scene, just right-click the object and choose Copy Link to Object. The created link will automatically take them there without any delays. Now let's take a look at how to embed websites into your canvas. Go to More Tools and select Web Embed. First, create an empty rectangle where you want the embed to appear. Then paste the URL. And that's basically it. It's a simple way to make your drawings more dynamic and fun. Next, let's explore collaboration in the free editor. Click the Share button in the top right corner and choose Start Session. This creates a collaboration link you can share with anyone. Once they open it, they'll join the scene with edit rights, meaning they can draw, edit, and work alongside you in real time. To end the collaboration, just click Share again and choose Stop Session. If you want to share your scene without letting others change it, you can export it as a shareable link via the Share button instead. This creates an exact copy of your scene, which will open in their version of the Excalidraw editor without affecting your original. Now let's take a look at how scene sharing works in Excalidraw Plus. Just like in the free editor, click the Share button in the top right corner. But instead of starting a session, Turn on the shareable link. The link is created with edit rights, but you can switch it to view only if needed. Once guests join the room, they'll be able to view the scene but not make any changes. To allow that, click the share button again and enable edit rights. This way, they can collaborate with you and help shape the content, whether at the same time or later on. And if you want to disable access to your scene, just turn off the shareable link. This will immediately block access for all guests. In Excaladraw Plus, you can create read-only links too. Click the Share button again and select Embed Link. Then hit Create New Link and set the starting area that will be visible when the link is opened or embedded. Once you're done, give the link a name and adjust any settings. Once you finish the link setup, simply copy the read-only link or use an embeddable iframe if needed. The link will behave based on how you set it up during creation. But if you need to make some changes, just go to the Embed Link section in the Sharing dialog and update the settings. The read-only link will reflect them immediately. But of course, if needed, you can create a brand new link with different settings and use both. Now let's look at how to share a presentation in Excalidraw Plus. The easiest way is to use the Share button in the top right. This time, choose Share Presentation and enable sharing. Just keep in mind, it only works if your scene contains at least one frame. From there, you can customize the settings and copy either the presentation URL or an embeddable iframe. The created link will reflect the settings you chose. And if enabled, viewers can also download the slides as PDF or PPTX. And lastly, let's look at how invitation links work in Excaladraw Plus. If you're a Workspace admin, go to the Team Members section and choose Create Invite Link. 
set the role type, limit the number of uses, and, if needed, restrict the domain, which is perfect for keeping things company only. Then just share the link with anyone you want to invite and let the magic happen. And that's it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.